or we can say some options are there with the help of that option we can restrict the movement after assigning constraint otherwise after assigning constraint also if the object will get moved but nothing to worry here if you click control u if you press control u or if you click on this icon which you are seeing on the screen if you click on that one also it will automatically update that part and where the how the constraints are there based on that one the part will get placed there also even if it's moved like nothing to worry here some settings are there i will show that one later how to do that one then at the time the part will not get moved okay okay then now only i will show now i can able to move my part in any direction even assigning constraint also i assign this one as a fixed constraint but still the part is moving here in z axis also we will move in particular i axis also we can move how we want like rotation also we can do rotation also we can do around x axis rotation also we can do in y axis rotation around z axis rotation around particular axis like that everything we can move here click okay now see the part got completely distracted here like it moved from in different different location again if i want to place those comments in their respective position i think it has just click on update automatically it will place where initially it was why because we assign the constraint for that one we assign the constraint for that one suppose for example i want to restrict that object when i move also it should not move only where the degree of freedom is at at that location only if the object want to move means we have to do only one thing here you can find one option is that, that is stop manipulate on clash just enable that one that's it initially it is what it was disabled now just enable that one then go for manipulation enable this one two things you have to do one is enable this command stop manipulate on clash then under manipulation also just enable this one that's it with respect to constraint also the same mean here on clash only it will stop your object for movement here with constraint also it will stop this two thing which you do means right now if i am trying to move the object in x axis see here the object is not at all moving if i am trying to move in y axis it is not at all moving but when i am trying to move in z axis this way why because in z axis we have the degree of freedom okay in z axis we have degree of freedom due to which the part is moving if you move your fixed component even in any direction will not why because we move make that part like fixed after that one if you click on update also nothing will happen if you press control u also nothing will happen why because that location we have degree of freedom due to which the part got moved there okay like that now the next constraint is contact constraint what it will do with the help of this constraint we can able to join this clash piece okay with the help of this one we can able to join the faces or making the contact between the faces so go for contact constraint close this one select the bottom face why because this face is meeting with this face so select this face select this what happened here why it's not the see here the part is not moved here sometimes what happened it will automatically move sometimes we have to click on update okay sometimes we have to click on update to update the changes whatever changes we have done now see here if i check the degree of freedom for that part now this one second one it is showing 
only one degree of freedom that is your rotation around z axis we will check with how it is rotating manipulate if i am trying to move in x axis it is not moving y axis also it is not moving z axis also it is not moving rotation around x axis also it is not rotating rotation around y axis also it is not rotating not rotating rotation around z axis it is it is rotating here then what we have to do we have to think here it is rotating around z axis so how to restrict that one see here with the help of planes uh, with the help of plane contact or uh, plane angles see it is like rotation rotations we can able to restrict only with the angle usually okay usually rotation will stop with the help of angles usually sometimes what happen if we have holes if we have holes in that case what we can able to do we can able to restrict that thing by using coincident constraint see here if i do coincident constraint between this axis to this axis also now check the degree of freedom here there is no degrees of freedom there is no degree of freedom understand this one understand guys yes sir yes sir now see here one more thing we can able to do here angular things okay angular things also we can able to do here right i can able to go for go for angular constraint between this plane to this plane it is showing some angle just make those two planes like parallel update it is coming like that but i want in that direction so go for that constant and make that constant like change constraint to perpendicular okay now see here like that suppose for example if you assign any constraint the thing is there if you want see if you want to change the constraint right click on that particular constraint here you can find the constraint name under that one you can find change constraint option you click on that one the remaining constraint will show you here coincident parallel perpendicular is there no now it is showing parallel coincident angle and opposite the remaining constraint will show you so with those constraints we can able to update it understand that is your next option angular constraints also we have specified now again if you check here you can find there is no degree of freedom for this part like that we can able to understand with angle also we can able to do see here for angles definitely you require the flat faces angular parallel or perpendicular <coughs> for angular perpendicular parallel we required flat faces for cylindrical faces we cannot able to use that command but if you are do suppose for example if you don't have any flat faces and if you don't have this holes also then how to do so in that case you can use the reference planes you have plane for this object also you have plane for this object by using those planes of those two components you can able to constrain the angular rotations <coughs> understand yes sir any doubt yes, in that 
Now see here, guys. What I am doing? The last constant we are using here is offset constant. If you go for this option, if you go for this option, uh, right now, what I will do? I will choose the change constant. The position is same. Face uh, like offset constant means we have to select two faces. Two faces between the two faces, you can specify the gap. Right now, it's already attached. Here. What I will do? I will create one more part. Go for part. And the part design. Okay. Go to that part now. I am creating the part here on this plane. On this plane. I will create one sketch radius diameter to be 15 distance between this point to here as <coughs> 70 exit add Then on this face, I will create one more with a distance of 25 and make these two things like concentricity. Yeah. Exit workbench, go for pad 5. This is my bolt now. <clears throat> this is my bolt now. Now go for product. Right. Now see here, this part is also moving in this space. When you carefully see here, if I am trying to move this part in x axis direction, it will not. Why it is not moving here? If I am moving in y axis direction also. It is not moving. Why it is not moving means, see here, this part is clashing with these two parts. Due to which it is not. Why? Because I enabled here. Stop manipulation on clash means, if the clash is there, means if the two parts are getting intersected, then that thing, like the part should not move. So we enable that. So that's the reason it is not moving at all here. So what we have to do? Only one option we have right now, that is movement in Y, Z axis direction. Now we can enable movement. Now say here, first of all go for in this axis, select this axis, update, what happened? What happened? Why it is taking us off? So to have uh, change this constraint to perpendicular. <clears throat> now go for coincident constraint. Select this one. Select this one. Okay. Now see here, that constraint has been assigned there. See here, you can make contact also like by face selecting this face and this face. Joining those two faces by using contact constraint, we can able to do. Instead of that one, what I will do, I will go for the option here, offset constraint. What is the help in offset here means? In offset, you can able to specify the distance between those two faces. It is same like contact only, but the difference is in contact will join those two faces in here. It will ask you the distance. I am giving 2 mm as a distance for clearance. Now see here, here you can find gap here. So whenever we want, we can change this gap. I don't want gap, any gap, just give 0. Update. It will work like a contact constant. If you want some gap, you can able to specify 10. So like that we can able to work with the offset constraints. Okay, offset constraints. Understand, guys? Any doubts here? No, sir. Fine. So we check all the constraints here, like angular, offset, contact, coincident, fake, manipulation, stop manipulation, and these three commands completed.
So these commands only we are using for bottom of sorry top down approach. For a bottom of approach, same commands only there. The difference is instead of these three commands, we are using these two like existing component or existing component with position. Understand? Yes, sir. Any doubt still here? No, sir. Shall we continue? Uh, yes, sir. Fine. So, this is my uh, top down approach. If any doubt you guys have, you can ask. In top down approach. No doubt, sir. Okay. Here, one more command, one more thing I will explain you. That is my explode command. Command means see here after assigning the constraints here now the part got fixed here. okay the part got fixed here uh, one more command we have here that is my mirror symmetry so go for symmetry the symmetry plane we have to select here I am selecting the symmetry plane then it is asking me to select the product which one you want to move I want to move this one on the other side click OK. So like that also we can able to make mirrors. When you check for the symmetry part it will show 6 degrees of freedom. But when you want to assign the constraint to that part it will not assign. Remember one thing. So this is a symmetry command. Initially what is showing last constraint apart from that application it is showing here. But when you go for the symmetry Select this plane, select this part, click finish. Now see the part get moved there. Okay. One more thing it is assigned here that is my assembly feature. So whenever assembly feature is there, we don't require to assign any constraints. Remember this one. Even the part will get moved here. If I take this part, this part will move here. But when I am trying to assign the constraint for this axis to this axis, see, I assign only coincident constraint, but automatically it will fixing the position like how initial it was. It is an old version software, like it is something like 21 version. If you come to the latest version, you cannot able to specify the constraint also here for this transformed feature. Okay. For this assembly feature, we cannot able to specify that constraint also. It will not select the second axis. Okay, it will not select the second axis. That is the reason. So there is no need of assigning any constraint for that. Just leave it like that. Then we have the next thing is exploded view. Exploded view in the sense, suppose for example you have done this assembly and some parts what happens, it will be hided in the inside of the assembly. So you cannot able to see. So if you want to see all the parts where it is going to assemble, you can go for exploded view. Click on OK. Now what happened? How many parts are there? How the constraint has been assigned there? It will show you there. Like this is your exploded view. Okay? This is your exploded view. Just for showing the parts position, we are using this exploded view. Okay. If right now we will say that uh, right now we will say that this exploded view is coming like that. Okay. This exploded view is coming like that. Then how to again reassemble the component? Nothing is there. Just click on update, automatically it will get reassembled. Okay? Okay, like that we can able to. Understand guys? Now I am going for the bottom up approach. The thing is that it's easy only this one also. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have some assemblies done. Here, guys, I will not show the complete assembly to you. Why? Because it is a very big assembly, the radial engine. I will just show you how to do the thing. Small, some parts I will call. I will assign the constraint to that one. We have to create the complete. Now I am saying the bottom of rows. I have some parts. I am calling those parts. I am performing the assembly. Actually, uh, pray time is there. Okay. Or else, what we will do? 